To run over the cats or to not run over the cat? I'm running over a cat. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I'm a horrible person. I deserve everything horrible that happens to me from this point on in this video. What's going on, everybody? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto V. We have a message. We should check it out. Bugstar's Pest Control have some vans at their warehouse in the port of Los Santos. There's security in the port, so go quiet around the back or hit them hard and fast. Well, I say we hit them up. What's up, Lest? Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. <laughs> so, with a with a message thing like that, does that mean that he sends himself messages just so he won't listen to them? <laughs> is that what he is that what he's getting at? Because that's where our shrink is. Strangers and freaks. Um, heist setup. Where's gonna be the? Ah, oh, so that's gonna be down here. Okay, really quick. Let's do one of these. Um, where the hell are we? Okay, we're over here. Let's do one of these strangers and freaks things. It's right here. I might as well do one. I think before we really get set up on all the serious shit that's gonna be going on, as there will be plenty, might as well check out something a little bit, uh, you know, under the radar for now. <laughs> I mean, it's probably gonna go over terribly now that I, you know, murdered a completely innocent animal that was minding its own business in the alley, and I was just like, oh, I got a fucking giant machine! <laughs> Let me ruin its life! And now the ghost of my own cat is gonna be like, Adam, really? What the fuck, dude? Come on! <laughs> You can't just stroll in here and start killing my friends, man, even though they're digitized and not real. You get the point. It's all the same here. Okay, where... Where exactly is... Where is this, uh, this mystic person here? I wonder if this mystic person has ever eaten mystic pizza. Oh, he's probably right here. Let's just go get out of the car. <laughs> There's no point in fucking around here. We need to not be just hauling this thing down the street. That's, yeah. I think just to, to not scare the townspeople, probably shouldn't be running around in a park just toting a giant shotgun. Who have we here? Save our economy, legalize marijuana. talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven. That this state makes illegal. Yeah. This is what I'm talking I feel like I'd be less likely to trust this guy than a pothead trying to do it. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy <laughs> my fatty micro penis. Intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want to drive? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grow it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. Bullshit. Passport to Nirvana. I don't believe you for one second. You have laced that stuff yeah, with everything. Heart. There's probably some of your own shit That's in there. All day and I'm fine. Yeah, of course you do, because you didn't Pure smoke today. Mellow high. You should never trust a guy that's setting up a, a fucking booth with yeah. six hand baskets and a piece of plywood. Oh, yeah, god damn it. Serious, but, uh, I never let them get to you. What the hell? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> this is so tight! Oh, oh my god, okay, I didn't realize that was going to be happening. Let's go! How... Why am I not able to kill these guys? What the fuck? Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Dude, this is so sick. If I could... If I could smoke weed that's been doped up with a bunch of shit just so that I could have a fucking crazy trip like this where I get to chain gun a bunch of aliens... Oh my god, I'd take that every time. And by that, I mean probably not. This is what you get for... Oh, no! 
Dude, this is what you get for uh, allowing potheads to uh, to let you try the, the quote-unquote good stuff. Oh, no, you don't. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, no, you don't. No. You will not. You will not get the best of me. Fuck. Fuck. No. I cannot let you kill me because I got such a bad start on this. Where is he? Where are they? Oh, shit. No, no. <laughs> well. I can't wait for the pot guy to have to explain that to somebody when the uh, when the paramedics get here. You're like, I don't know what happened, man. I just I I I was just uh, just trying to legalize weed, and I gave this guy some, and and then he just fucking died. <laughs> I didn't know it would hurt him. Is is does this does weed do this to everybody? Boy, if only they could see the inside of my mind right now. <laughs> the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Dude, this is so sick. Like, I've had an experience like this before. It wasn't it wasn't from weed. I, I will go right ahead and tell you that. Um, it was actually it was actually from a uh, from a weight loss supplement, believe it or not. It was a stuff that's not even in circulation anymore. It was called uh, it was called Clenbutrex. And it was a stuff that it came Oh boy. Oh god, where are they? It it was a stuff that like came in like this uh oh god. Oh god, no! You get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm putting you in now. Oh, that's weird. You just shook him off and you were good to go. Come on, come on. Come on. There we have it. Um, but yeah, it was the stuff that came in like a... It came in a plastic bottle with one of those weird plastic syringes. And uh, you just... You just kind of, you know, shoot it up into the, into the little plastic needle thing and you just put it under your tongue. And, uh... And then you were good to go, and it was supposed to just give you, like, crazy, crazy good energy. Um, all the while being wonderfully efficient for burning fat. But I tried some. I, I tried, like, the recommended dose. But this was back at a time where I weighed maybe, like, a buck forty. So, like, I didn't need it for weight loss stuff at all. But I just wanted to try it just for the sake of trying it. Fuck, dude, these guys are everywhere. Give me a break. Dude, this is... Dude, this is scary as fuck, man. This is... <laughs> this is scary as fuck. Uh, I would not be okay with any of this. Um, but yeah, I so I tried this stuff. I gave, I gave it a go. And man, do I wish that I had not done that. Because, like, within about... About five minutes or so, like, I definitely felt... Uh, I felt the energy part of it coming in. Um, but after I got that, I started, like, hallucinating, kind of like this. Like, I, didn't, I wasn't seeing aliens, you know, trying to... <laughs> I didn't see aliens, like, trying to overtake my life or anything. Come on, come out of it, Michael. Come out of it, Michael. Attaboy. The liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. So I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, we talked about globalization, all right. I just sat there and like murdered about a hundred people from a different globe. If that's cool with you. Um, but yeah. So, like, I tried it, and I got the energy part of it, but then it got weird. Like, I started seeing purple outlines around everything, and, oh, it was weird as fuck, man. I, I thought that I was losing my ever-loving mind. And uh, that went on for the entire drive home, and for at least a, about a solid hour after that. Turn up while you play some racquetball or squash, and hug it out, and tussle each other's hair, and walk with your hand in each other's back pocket. And then you share an ice cream cone and conceive a son. It's about leaving out the bad parts of life and only celebrating the good. Okay, cool. Knockout gas shipments are being transported to LSX every two hours. Intercept and steal the van or blow it up and grab the gas. Damn, with this song playing though? <laughs> oh, oh man. This is totally worth it. You know? I mean, ooh, that red, white, and blue. So, yeah, basically, I've only, I've only smoked weed just like a handful of times in my life and I can tell you it's not really my thing um, and I think part of the reason why it's not my thing is because because of that Clenbutrex episode where I know 
I know that people have, you know, they have episodes like that with weed when it's laced with stuff. And so I ain't doing it. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. Plus for me, like when I when I smoke weed, I I'm not functional. Like I get I get so relaxed that I basically just fall asleep. Like it would probably make a great sleep aid for me at night, but I just I don't know. I I'm not really big on the whole, you know, pot smoking experience. Like for the people that enjoy it, good for you as long as you're not operating heavy machinery and potentially, you know, about ready to fuck my life over, then you know, go right ahead and do it. Whatever whatever uh, you know makes your dick stand at attention or whatever, I mean, you go right ahead. But for me, I ain't doing it. I ain't wearing hockey pants. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's go ahead over here. Let's let's see if we can get our hands on whatever this uh, shipment is. You got lucky, buddy. <laughs> so did you, Mike? So did you. <laughs> you I mean you just you just took like hard, crazy, like. 1970s drags, I don't know what's so different about those than today's drags, of really heavy laced stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the Bug Stars people. So, I shouldn't just go straight up into that. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> so, he's probably not going to see anything weird about that. Let's go around the back, since that's kind of what they were advising that we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we get this beautiful view out here. We got we got ourselves some surfing waves. Okay, so can we just pull in or No you don't. No parking. Move it. Okay. Is that fine? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Yeah. It was. Company policy. All bookings go through the main office. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know. We got hazardous materials in here. Step outside. No, I'm 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 pretty much good with that. I mean, I guess uh, this one seems good enough. Get the cops down here. He's taking a van. You're damn right. I'm taking a van. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it was fun doing business with you. Unfortunately, now this is going to be a thing. Oh, good. Here they come. Whoa! I just don't want them to, like, bang up the car too bad. You know? I mean, was there probably a more efficient way to do this? Yeah. <laughs> that girl must be new on the dispatch, man. <laughs> She's just like, suspect moving in a, um, uh, hmm. Hey, fuck you, okay? I'm just going to kill some bugs. I don't see what the big deal is here. I just, I just I've got a bug problem at home. I, I, I'm not like, you know, trying to rob a, rob a jewelry store or anything. I just got a bug. Oh my god! Oh no, no! Come on, flip it over. Thank you. I just, I got a bug problem. I just, I, I've got, I've got some carpenter ants in my living room and. You know, I got aphids out in the back, and just got stuff to deal with, and I knew these guys would have the materials. If you guys want to sit here and, like, you know, burn me at the stake like a witch or something, then, you know, that's your prerogative, I suppose, but that's that's not how I do business. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose these, yeah, I'm gonna lose these fools eventually. They're gonna, they're gonna try and dance with the crab man now, and it's not gonna last long enough for him. <laughs> okay, oh, we lost him. Sick. There's no way he's gonna be traveling right here. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> really? Really? He's like, I know he's on these tracks. They always hide on these tracks. <laughs> he just fucking motored it. Oh no. Oh god. Oh boy. Please don't. Please don't. These guys are gonna they're gonna box me in. Really? Really? The cop got out and ran all the way down here. He ran all the way down here. Oh no, he's gone. Well, then who was the guy that was running just now? <laughs> that cop just like totally not realized that I was there. He just totally made a mistake. He was texting while driving and flew his ass up on the tracks. <laughs> oh, that, that my friends, 
was simply spectacular. That was everything I could have wanted and more out of that situation. However, now I'm kind of boxed in. Um, because that cop car is just kind of in the way. Oh, no, this will be fine. Yeah, this will totally be fine. I can get myself out of it. Because when you feel it in your heart and you throw the horns up, you can do anything. Especially when you're driving a, uh, a Bug Stars van that says, It's a bug's death. <laughs> Not it's a bug's life. It's a bug's death. That's fantastic. Okay. What's up, dog? I got some bugs too. You wanna you wanna you wanna throw down? We're gonna be we're gonna be having like a competing bug pest control, you know, hierarchy war here. Cause I mean when when you're the star, uh, there is no competition. Alright, well let's at least go take this thing to its uh, you know, respected place. At least we were able to get that done. I was kind of worried that once we got in that van, we were going to... Because this thing's not very fast. I thought we were going to be stuck in that for a long time. Prop 14 for a sober America. Again. <laughs> because, you know, we all know that there's a very severe problem with all that. Oh, we're right here at, at Lester's spot. Okay. That makes perfect sense. And we get to hide it right here. Tied. We've got the van, baby. Mission passed. Bug Stars equipment. All right, guys. Well, you know what? That actually kind of worked out pretty well as far as time's concerned. Um, I mean, we could start up something else right now, but I kind of really got to take a uh, fiery Deuce McAllister right now. So I think, I think we're gonna stop right here. But when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V, what we're gonna do is we got another heist setup over here. So I don't know what that entails necessarily, but we are gonna we are gonna check it out. I kind of want to go check out the shrink. I just there's something about it, you know. I I, I just I I feel like we need to go see him and see what happens out of that when we do it. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll check that out next time in route to setting up the next heist. Uh, heist, not heist. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.